I said, David, you're making this stuff up. <laughs> because I have talked to so many Christians and not a single one of them has said that before. And he said, try me. Let's do it. Let's, let's study this together. Let's, let's look into these things together. And I said, let's do it. And so we became friends. I mean, we, from that point on, we did like everything together. We went, I was doing pre-med, he was doing biology. So we signed up for the same classes. We'd make fun of professors together. You know, we would, we would study for tests together. We took chemistry together. I mean, we did everything together. And in that context of friendship, I know he's going to take a bullet for me if the time ever arises, and I would do the same for him. So when he shares the gospel with me, and when he tries to tear down my faith, I know he's doing it because he loves me and he's trying to provide me with his truth. And when I do the same for him, I try to tear down his faith and give him my own message. It's because I love him. See, in the context of friendship, you can accomplish a lot. You can really challenge one another. So we did. But I had a specific friend who I had just encountered a few weeks earlier. I was 18 years old. I had just started college uh, in August of 2001. September 11th happened a few weeks into my, uh, into my adulthood, really. And uh, my, this friend turned out to be a Christian. And he started asking me questions. Now, one thing that I respected about him was that he actually believed his faith. If you study the history of the New Testament, you study the manuscripts, and you take a look at the evidence that we have, what they say today is what they have always said. 